Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. My name is Joan and uh, this channel is about me living my life in a wheelchair. And for the most part, it's about me living my life in a wheelchair and traveling in my minivan. Anyways, last week I put out a teaser. There was um, some of you, I think, and I noticed in the comments, I think some of you were confused by the um, the little photo that I put in of an x-ray of my um, of my lower leg. Well, this week I'm going to tell you about that. Uh, I had to cut my holiday short um, because I was, um, when I was in Mexico, I was wheeling around the area where my van was parked and I had an extension cord coming out to the van to um, so that I could heat my van at night because it got pretty cold there at, at the nighttime. We were kind of in the mountains of Mexico. And uh, what happened was um, I wheeled over that extension cord. And I know that the little front tires on my wheelchair, if they catch on things... Um, it'll stop my wheelchair and if my wheelchair stops and I'm not sitting and ready for it um, I can get thrown out of my wheelchair and that's what happened is I hit this extension cord I didn't get my wheels up high enough and uh, the wheelchair stopped and I fell forward onto my hands and knees out of my wheelchair and then my butt came down on the back of my calves and I actually broke three bones. I broke, broke the tibia and fibula, which are the long bones in my lower right leg. And I broke one of the long bones, I can't remember which one, in um, my left leg as well. Well, the first test of van life with two broken legs is how to get the second leg in when the lip of the ca cast catching on the edge there and it's heavy and I cannot get it over that and I can't hold the camera at the same time so I'm just going to keep trying. Good morning. It is around five o'clock in the morning. I'm in Yuma. I came here uh, shortly after being at the bone doctor in Tucson. And uh, he wrapped up my legs. And this is what they look like now. This is what is left of the splint that was done in Yuma at the bone doctor. I can't drive home with it like that. This one I tucked in, so it's not dragging as bad. I think right now though I'm up and I'm going to go to emergency and see if I can get this fixed. i got to turn off the light because I might get kicked out of here. That's another story, too. I parked at uh, Walmart in Yuma, where I normally park. And um, I got parked, and it took me about 45 minutes to get my feet. Uh, I don't need to show you that. I can't. Uh, my feet and me into the back of the van. And uh, it was exhausting. And then I'm at, when I'm at the back of the van, I look out the window and there's a new sign that wasn't there before. It says no overnight parking. There's just no way I was getting back out of the van. It took too much effort. So I was just praying that nobody would knock on my van in the middle of the night. I've never had that. And I was hoping to not have it now. Oh, gotta go again. So anyways, my window's all fogged up, but you can't see. Um, I left this blind off so it didn't look like somebody was sleeping in there and I never put the one on. You can't see up there, but you can kind of see the light coming in from my um, back passenger window. I just put the front blinds on so it looks like somebody was just trying to block the sun and maybe somebody left their car here overnight, but thankfully nobody bothered me. Now I'm paranoid. I gotta get ready to Sorry, I know this video is terrible. I gotta get ready to go, but every time I see lights, 
This is the first time I've turned on lights in here, but I have to pee. So, anyways. So I used my GPS to find a hospital, and this is a parking lot where there was no hospital where there's where they said there was one. Um, anyways, I just thought it was really pretty. And this is what the splints looked like that the bone doctor had put on the day before. This is an emergency. And that's what my leg looked like after the splints came off. Um, it wasn't quite bruised that bad when I first had the splints put on. And it had rained, and this is what my heel looked like because the splint got really wet. Um, so I have to be really careful with these things uh, for my skin. And now the x-rays. And then all splinted up and ready to go. I arrived in Quartzsite yesterday. And I'm going to sit here for the day, get some stuff done, because I'm flying home on Sunday night. I have a friend who's coming to, she's flying into Las Vegas tomorrow. Tomorrow night, she'll stay overnight in the hotel and then I'll go pick her up on Sunday morning. Um, I'll show her all the stuff that she probably needs to know about my van, especially to get it over the border um, without me. Uh, so anyways, I'm flying home because it's getting just a little bit overwhelming. Although, I'm questioning that decision now because I'm pretty content. The sun is shining. I've got the back door open of my van. I'm on Plumosa Road. Um, you know, it's <laughs> life is good, even if I do have two broken legs. So, anyways, I know I look a mess, but uh, it's been a kind of a crazy, crazy week and a half. Anyways, that's just a little update. So I didn't get a very good shot of that pickup truck, but I was just videotaping it because I had my back door open. I've never had this happen before, but this guy pulled up right beside me to talk and said, uh, do you have a YouTube channel? And I go, are you a famous YouTuber? He says, and I go, well, I have a channel. And he goes, oh, well, my wife follows lots of women on, on uh, YouTube and, um, Anyways, it just was kind of weird. His wife wasn't with him, and I'm just, I think it pays to be cautious out here, so I tried to get his license plate, but I mean, nothing's gonna happen, I know that, but I think it's better to be safe rather than sorry. And I'm not nervous about it, and I am always very cautious out here, so there you go. Well, I parked in the desert at Lake Havasu and I'm flying home today. And this could be um, the last time that I come down here because I'm finding that van life on long trips in this little van is just not workable. And I think I've said that before and then I changed my mind and I still come down here, but I think next year well, who knows if I'll even be healed from these broken legs. So, anyways, it's a beautiful morning. Beautiful last morning. I don't know if we can see out this window. Sun's coming in. I'm at Lake Havasu. I have two and a half hour drive to two and a half hour drive to go pick up my friend Val, who is going to drive my van home. So grateful to her for doing that for me. Um, yeah, I hope she enjoys her trip and that it's not just a job for her, something for her to do to be nice to me. Um, anyways, wow, my hands are, it's a very shaky video. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready to go and get on the road. Well, I left uh, Quartzsite 
and I was on my way into Vegas and this is just outside of Vegas I'm sorry the sorry the video quality is really crappy but you can see there's like I can't remember if there was five or six helicopters flying in a row there um, and this is the day that uh, they were having some kind of presidential um, thing where Biden and Trump were gonna be in Vegas debating or something so I wonder if one of those helicopters has either, either Biden or Trump in them. Oh, looky here. I woke up in Vegas and not knowing what to do, I ran into a friend. <laughs> this is Val. She thinks it's cool that we're in Starbucks in USA. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. That's Starbucks in Calgary. She's my friend. She might she might not be my friend after the next four days. She just flew down here to take my van home for me. Hi, Val. Hi. <laughs> All right, now she has to learn how to work my car. Okay, I'm reaching. <laughs> I'm reaching. Oh, bummer, yeah. Emergency brake. Okay, and so because you're. It's not electronic, so you just got to pull on that handle. You can't use your foot. I can't, okay. No. That's the one thing I can't do. Okay, and this? That's for the lift, so pretty much you don't need it. Put it in the center console if you. What? It says the door is open. Well, close the door and go away. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, See you. ya. All right. There well, goes my car. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. There she goes. There goes my car.